Hey YouTube, it's Bria Loren and today I'm here to show you how you can make and slay a curly wig in just 30 minutes. 45 minutes tops if you're watching the movie like I was. I'm sure I could have did it in 15 minutes less, but I was watching Love Jones and if y'all seen Love Jones, I love that movie. That's a side note. <laughs> anyway, I made this wig in about 30, 45 minutes using hair from Her Given Hair. If you know me and have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I have done videos in the past with Her Given Hair. This time I decided to go with the curly extensions instead of the coily extensions like I had before. And I must say, I like the curly better. I thought, I like the coily because it really matches to my hair type really well, like it matches dead on. But this, is like, I just like the hair because I don't know, it just seems more like, just like, I don't know, you know? Like you just wanna just go like, okay. <laughs> Clearly, I'm feeling myself with this wig. So let me just hop right into the video of how I made this curly wig. So I'm starting off with a dome cap that I got from the beauty supply store. I'm then using a hot glue gun. Yes, a hot glue gun. I got this from Joanne Fabrics for about $6 instant some change. And it's perfect because it already comes with the glue sticks. I'm then using hair from, of course, Her Given Hair. And this is what one bundle of the hair looks like. And I mean, I just love this hair. It's gorgeous. So I put tape around the mannequin head because I have a big head, so it's around 22 inches in circumference, so I wrap tape around the mannequin head to make it my size. I'm then going to put a plastic bag over the head just to protect it, and then I'm going to place the dome cap on it inside out. Now I'm going to measure one track on the wig inside out, and I'm going to make sure that of course it's long enough, so I'm just going to measure it and then cut. Now the reason I'm gluing on one track inside out is that you don't want to see the band on the wig, on the cap once you put the wig on. So I saw this on YouTube, thought it was a great idea and it really was once I put on the wig. So I highly suggest doing this, putting just one track on inside out, very close to the band. Now the reason I'm using a glue gun is that it holds a stronger bond than hair glue. Once I wash the wig, I know that the hair glue will wash it away and it won't stick. So the hot glue works perfect. The only thing I wish is that there was a black glue stick for hot glue. I'm not sure if that's even the thing. If it is, let me know. But if it was black hot glue, oh, it would've been perfect. Because when it dried, you did see little pieces of the glue, but it comes out easily, so no worries. So as you can see, I then, I then turned the cap inside out or the right way out and I'm just going around and around and around, no cutting, no snipping. And then as you can see, I'm just placing little tiny pieces once I get to the very top. And this is just to make sure that it looks a little bit more blendable. You will see a little glue once it dries, but if you get like a black marker or a black eyeliner and cover that glue, you won't even tell. And this is the wig once all the extensions are put in. It looks a little crazy, but no worries. We're gonna fix that. So I just found a few gaps that I could use more hair in and I had more hair to use. So why not, why not make it bigger? So I just filled in all those little gaps by just measuring it and placing it in. And now I'm gonna take off the plastic, making sure to get all the plastic off as best as I can. And this is the hair. Once it's co-washed, I will link a video in the description box of how I co-wash my Her Given Hair extensions. I did do a video on that before. So now I'm just defining the curls with the curling cream and you don't need too much. I would suggest using something a little light so that you don't weigh it down. 
and this is it I didn't do too much to define the curls because the curls were already defined I just really enhanced them really and this is the amount of hair that the wig did shed throughout the entire process from beginning of me taking out the pack until I finished defining the curls and this is it once my hair dried for about a full night I then put on the wig and I did cut it off camera because I wasn't too confident to cut it on camera so now I'm just gonna pick and pick and pick and pick and pick I mean pick like crazy because I wanted this wig to be a lot bigger and this is the final look I'm in love with this wig I mean in love with that I thought I was only gonna wear it for just a little bit but now that I see this wig I am straight loving it if you get this method to try leave it in the comments below and tell me what you like what you think did you like it does it really work and also her giving here will be having a Black Friday sale I will leave all the information in the description box below as always again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video